What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Planet Coaster. This is episode 45 now on the series. In the last episode, we built this coaster right here, the wooden coaster, and we didn't have a name for it. We also, hang on a second, it's gonna get loud. We also didn't have a name for the red coaster to the right of us. So, I did get a few suggestions in between episodes. The first one came from Robert Nichols, who was suggesting calling this one the Red Speedster or the Red Racer, to which I then responded with, or the Red Rocket. <laughs> so I know what you guys are thinking, super gross name, right? But then just recently I got a new comment from Annabelle the Tuber and she just straight up said you could call it the Red Rocket. So that's what we're going with for this one. And the reason that that is so dang funny to me is because I decided that we were gonna call the wooden roller coaster over here, Woody, or the Woody. So I don't know, I guess the theme out here is peepee -pee jokes. So we're just gonna go with that. Even like the scissor, all you gotta do is just add another P in there. And uh, this side of the park, I guess, is peepee -pee themed. Today's big peepee -pee day. So that's what we're going with on this one. Hope you guys like that. But what we're gonna be doing today is we are going to be adding a track ride this time, not a coaster. And it's a pre-built one. It is a blueprint. Unfortunately, I have had many, many Mediacom trucks in the neighborhood this morning. And Lord knows what they're up to, but I have zero internet. So I have to upload a video using my personal hotspot from my phone. And that's going to be very slow. Today's episode is probably going to be rather short. But I hope you guys understand why. So without any further ado, let's get into things. I originally wanted to do, oh geez, some park management stuff today. But because this has to be a little bit shorter of an episode, I don't think I'm going to have enough time to do that type of stuff. So we are going to hit pause here. We have $24,000 in the bank right now, you guys. I finally figured out how to make us some more money. So things are looking a lot better for us. Basically just kept going around periodically and adjusting the prices for each ride. We still don't have any classic rides, which is kind of upsetting, but the closest one we have is Robo Eagle 1 and Robo Eagle 2. They have about a year until they are reaching that classic status. And once that happens, we should see a huge surge in income. But I think the ride that we're gonna add today, guys, like I said, it's a track ride. Since we only have 24,000, originally I wanted to do the Buccaneers Bounty, because it's awesome. It's huge, it looks phenomenal. I guess it's not that big. The The one that we're gonna do today is actually quite a bit bigger. But these areas over here are like the perfect shape and size for these rides. So the one we're gonna be doing is the lay of the land. No, God, I'm dyslexic, I swear. The lay the land. I feel like there should be an of in there. I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna be placing this one down over in this area right here. I'm gonna rotate it around to a about there should be perfect. Now I just have to get it sort of squared up to where I want it. I think right there is about perfect. But as you guys can see, it's a little raised off of the ground. It shouldn't be that high up. So now what we have to do, you know, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna add an of in there. I don't know if that's a mistake on the devs or what, but lay the land does not sound right to me. Lay of the land, however, that's a phrase. People actually say that. So what we need to do in order to move this thing into position is try to do a fairly big selection, but of course that's not gonna select all of it. So we're gonna have to hold shift here, come over the side, try to select all of that stuff. Now it is going to select the 2G gondola as well. So I'm gonna have to make sure we deselect Select that before we move this otherwise we'll be putting our gondola into the ground and one last selection I think over here perfect all right now I did also select some security cameras so I'm gonna go around and deselect those we don't need to bury those in the ground as well deselect the 2g gondola and I'm going to focus on this side over here where this bamboo is Okay, right about there seems like the lowest I can go before it starts clipping everything else through the ground. So I think that should 
probably work. This thing looks awesome, dude. It's definitely bigger than the other one, but I think that's just because of the scenery around it. The trees and everything just make it look a lot larger. So as far as the entrance and exit go, I don't really have any good ideas for this one. Our main objective here is to get people to go out to one area of the park, but then sort of exit a ride or leave a ride and go to another area, even if it's just sort of across a pond like this, how they enter on one end and exit on the other or how our coasters you enter on this side and then exit on the back side so i need to figure out where i want to put this path now we could just do a straight path from right here because then people do have to go all the way up to the north central area of the park but I feel like this would more so be an exit path because the exit is actually on this side. Well, maybe we could flip that around. Hang on a second. Let's go into stations. Let's place the exit right there for the time being. Let's place the entrance right there. Now we should be able to move the exit over here. Looking good. And the entrance we'll just do right there. That should work out just fine. We could put the entrance clear back here and then snake it all around these trees and everything all the way over up until the entrance. And then we'd get a pretty good Q scenery rating. But the downside there is it would be extremely long. And I don't think anyone would want to go down it. So the entrance is going to be... I know, guys, it's kind of a ways back here, but at least it's not all the way on the opposite side where I was originally going to do it, right? There's some compromise here. So we'll start with a 13-foot wide path, and we'll bring it out to about here. And then we can start just bringing it around all of the scenery back here, all these trees... And we'll curve it around this way. So that way, while you're in the entrance queue, you can kind of see the water, see the boats go by. And we'll bring it over here. And about here is probably where we're going to have to take it down to a 10 foot wide section. And now I'm not going to like follow the curvature of the bamboo there. All right, this should work. So we'll take our path from here to right here, make a staircase down, and we should be able to connect it up. There we go, that works. And boom, there we go. We got our entrance. It's plenty long. So since we are entering on this side of the park, I'm gonna try to get it to exit. Maybe over here by these shops. Perfect. All right, so we have our entrance, we have our exit. We have a 57% Q scenery rating. That's actually not that bad. So people may be more willing to pay the $20 or whatever it is. Yeah, 20 bucks to ride this thing. So of course, we are going to change the min rider load to full load. We'll take off the wait time. Departure interval, I think I'm gonna do about 15 seconds. We'll check don't block the station. Now for a ride like this, you would think we would want a priority queue. I don't know if that's really a good Good idea because we don't have a lot of people buying priority passes I've noticed last month we sold eight priority passes I think we're gonna chill on the priority queues so we have two different boats that we could use here we have the land ho or we have the adventure island now personally the adventure island looks awesome does it add the buoys or does the other one also have buoys no it does add buoys i kind of like that it adds buoys a life raft on the top some paddles on the back side the steam engine is kind of the same now they kind of trick you right because you guys see the rail i know you see the rail oh there's an anchor on the front too so the boats actually are guided by a rail underneath of it i don't think that the rail or i don't think anything down here actually propels it i think that's specifically for for alignment so you'll never actually hit the sides of this sort of water trough here but it does have a real propeller which is kind of cool and it even has a little fin that obviously wouldn't do anything because it's it actually looks like it's fixed but it wouldn't do anything anyways because you're fixed to the track here on the bottom side so maybe this steam engine is real i was thinking that it was fake and maybe it's not even steam i don't know i don't know enough about those type of engines but the island adventure boat is definitely the one we're gonna go with i'll turn it over to test mode so we can do our colors here so you guys know what's coming next right this shouldn't be a surprise to you i'm gonna do a pink bottom boat actually that looks weird yellow actually looks a lot better for the bottom of the boat so let's go with a yellow now you can guess what color's coming next just kidding we're doing a white bottom on this one and on the top we'll of course do our 2g blue and the other color will of course be our pink and I might flip-flop these actually because the front of the boat turns pink. I'd rather have the front of the boat blue and then we'll change this one to pink. There we go. That looks a lot better. And this I think is the light on the front. I don't know why they give you the option to change the color of the light. I guess it's kind of cool, but 
I don't really see the need for it. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's at nighttime. Hang on a second. Let's set this to 12 a.m. At nighttime, does the light color change? It does. That's actually really cool. I didn't know that. Or if we change it to, let's say, blue. Now we have this sort of blue ambient light. That's awesome, dude. Okay, now I understand why they decided to put lights in here. That makes it a lot cooler. Well, in that case, let's do a yellow. What does this show coaster name? Where does it show the coaster name? Huh. Well, that's weird. If you guys know what the show coaster name thing does, let me know. I have no idea. Oh, hey, I figured it out, guys. Never mind. Your boy's a genius. So we have the lay of the land on the front of the boat now. I kind of like that. That's pretty cool. Let's let's leave that on there. And I think we should be ready to open this sucker up. Let's go into operations. Now, hang on a second. We're not ready to open this sucker up. We could do more boats than just four. We could do five. How many can we do? total probably like 20 right that's kind of the the norm now 20 is going to be too backed up eight could be good right boat speed will just leave at five miles an hour otherwise they can go 20 miles an hour you guys that's crazy i gotta see how fast they go at 20 holy crap dude they are trucking look at that thing go oh that's awesome that is so funny it's going so fast past these little speakers they can't even keep up oh that's amazing okay so we definitely don't want 20 miles an hour let's do a five that's probably a good speed. So by the time one gets back, this one should be leaving. The Woody just broke down. Don't you hate when your Woody breaks down? That's the worst. All aboard. Oh, it looks so good, you guys. It looks so good. We have a ton of people coming into the queue, too. We're up to 9,000 bucks already. And this is going to draw a lot of traffic out in this area of the park, which is perfect. That's exactly what we're going for here. We have 4,100 people in the park right now, which is pretty solid. This is fantastic, you guys. This is going so much better than I thought. This is our first group of people that we ever had go on it. I barely queued at all for the lay of the land. The lay of the land is a really good value. The queue for the woody was quite quick. Haha, <laughs> get yourself a quick woody. Okay, let's just, let's just go for a ride, right? So we're going to be making our way around here. I don't know which view is really the best. Looking at the back is pretty good, though. Oh, actually, you know what? This one's probably the best one. You can kind of see all the people in here hanging out, having a grand old time. You are just magnificent, aren't you? Wow. All right, so we're coming up on our first spot. You can kind of hear the announcer guy from the speaker in the background sort of talk about each place that we're going to be stopping at. These people aren't even looking at the scenery around here, but right here, there's kind of an old plane. There's there's a little bit of smoke around it as if it sort of just crashed. Very cool little touch there. We're coming up on our first Mayan sort of temple. Or Mayan statue. I guess it's, it's not specifically Mayan. That's just what I think of when I think of ancient sort of statues. Or ruins, for that matter. We have another one right here. It's like a big, I can barely see it. It looks like an eagle. No, it's a man with an eagle's face. That's pretty cool. He's got some big gauges in his ear. Hey, that's my name. God, you don't know how much that bugged me when I was younger. People were like, oh, you're probably gonna get gauges because that's your name. I never did though. Never did, got my nose pierced, which is honestly worse, but <laughs> never did get gauges. And here is the final statue. There's no announcer for that one. It's just kind of the finisher. And we come back into the station. So, I think that's a huge success. I mean, look at this queue, you guys. Here's a better look at that eagle boy, too, with the gauges I was talking about, those big circles there in his ear holes. And then in the center over here, this is kind of cool, actually. If I make this, let's say, 12 a.m., so the runway for the airport in the center here kind of lights up. All of this around here is very well lit with these time period correct torches. Multiple shops do not- Oh, okay. Hang on, Danny. Rehire. He's walking out. Corey Cox. He's about walked out. Look at that. Look at how close they were to leaving. Oh my god, I'm so glad I caught that. We're still good. We're still good. We're still good. But, like I said, you guys, this episode is going to be fairly short today. Again, hopefully you guys do understand. But, that is going to do it for this one. Now, if you did enjoy, please leave a like. Leave a comment. Help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.